Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see what is .gitlab CI .yml file. So, what is it? What is the uses and how to use it? So, let's get started. First of all, what is a .gitlab CI .yml file? So, it is a YAML file. YAML is a human readable data serialization language that is most commonly used for configuration files. So this is the file we are going to use for our CI CD pipeline steps and its extension will be .yml. Before proceeding further, I would like to provide overview on what is host and target machine that I mostly refer in my videos. So host machine is a machine where your code, database, your GitLab repository, everything resides. So your development machine can be considered as a host machine and on this host machine you will write this .gitlab .yml file and what is the target machine so target machine is a machine where you want to set up and deploy the code database gitlab repository etc so your uat machine qa staging or production environment can be considered as a target machine and on the, on the target machine you need to write sorry on that target machine you need to install and register runner to carry out steps mentioned in uh, .yml file. Now what is the usage? So as per official definition, it defines the structure and order of the pipelines and determines what to execute using GitLab runner, what decisions to make when specific conditions are encountered. For example, when a process succeeds or fails. And if you say in layman term, so it will be used to mention the steps that need to be done and follow on target machine. So this is the usage of the .yml file. Now how to use it? So basically uh, you need to create a .yml file in the root directory of the project. You need to mention the steps uh, in order that you need to carry out on target machine. These steps can be considered as CI CD pipeline as well as jobs as well. This is uh, example of dot yml file so like when you mention the steps uh, how this dot yml file will look so just to give you overview we are not going to in-depth information of this yml file but just to give you overview uh, basically we have two stages uh, okay so basically we have two stages taste and deploy next thing is we have written taste so this taste is nothing but name of the job so you can provide any name uh, it's not compulsory that you need to provide taste over here you need to write taste over here you can write anything over here it's just a name of the job so instead of taste you can write xyg abc anything the stage of this job will be taste and the script that needs to be executed uh, is uh, as follows so for that uh, it will uh, write database url uh, it will update the machine it will install python then it will install uh, inst in a, then it will install from requirement.txt file uh, whatever the packages are required and then it will run test script next is staging so again this staging we have written is a job name you can provide any name over here it is not compulsory to provide staging name over here then the stage that we have that we are going to use over here is deployment stage the script that will be executed over here on the target machine will be uh, updating the machine installing ruby install dpl okay and only so this is again a keyword uh, that we have used and that is the master so what it means is whenever we push the code to a master branch then and only then this staging job will be carried out in other case this job will not be carried out finally we have production again this is a job name you can provide any name over here as a production so you can write any job name over here the state that we are going to use over here is a deployment state again the script that going that are uh, the script that is going to be executed is uh, update the machine install ruby install uh, dpl so we will uh, look all these keywords one by one in coming few lectures next is file name and location 
so default name of the file must be dot gitlab dash ci dot yml default location must be project root of the directory uh, and there, there will be a question like can we change uh, the name can we change the location so yes definitely you can change file name as well as location so how to do this so how to change file name and path so to customize the path you need to go to project settings ci cd general pipeline expand it there will be a, a value that needs to provide in the custom ci configuration path field click save changes so you can see screenshot of that on the screen in the bottom i will show you practically uh, on screen uh, where this option is okay so you need to go to a project settings ci cd then this general pipeline portion expand it now here is the option custom ci configurable path okay uh, so the path to the ci configuration file defaults to dot gitlab dash ci dot yml file so if you click on this question mark it will again open a new tab so as you can see that uh, you can uh, provide different names so its default is dot gitlab dash cy dot yml so you can provide different path and different file name okay so these are the references that I have used to make this video. So request you all to please go through these references. I have provided it in the description box as well. Till then, that's it for the day. Thank you everyone for watching this video.